What's up guys? Mega Dogs here. In the last video I poured some agar dishes. Just gonna make a quick video going over how I inoculate them. Alright guys. Alright guys, for this you're gonna need some portobellos. You're gonna need a scraping tool. I made mine out of a little piece of metal. Just bent a thing in the end. And sharpened it so I can scrape some so I can scrape with it like this. You're gonna need some poured agar dishes. You wanna make sure you stay completely sterile when you're doing this. I'm gonna flame sterilize this before I work. I also sprayed this down with disinfectant. I like to flame sterilize with a torch. Get it glowing nice and red hot. And then put it back in the put it back in your steel air box as soon as you can. Alright, so these mushrooms are in sterile but we need to find a sterile part of them to put inside of the dish. So what we do, if you cut them open with like a knife, you're gonna drag contaminants in from the outside of the mushroom into the middle where you're taking your sample from. So you wanna tear the mushroom open and then scrape some out of the middle and drop it right in the center of your dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down so the tip isn't resting on anything. I'm gonna grab a specimen And then I'm gonna take it from about that area. You don't want it near the base. You're gonna get more more genetics down there. You wanna you're trying to isolate genetics. As you go up the mushroom, you're gonna go more towards a monoculture. You probably won't get a monoculture your first try, but it's all right. You, that's why we do sector isolation, which I'll cover in the next video. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take off this tape right here so I can get ready to inoculate it. Some people save their tape, I'll just discard it, put new tape on. All right, we're almost ready. Before I do this, I'm gonna sterilize my scraper one more time. As that's cooling, I like to hold it like this so it's not touching anything and stays in the sterile air. You want to rip your mushroom open and then once this cools down, you're going to take from the center of the mushroom, that's the most, you're going to try to take from the center tissue of the mushroom and just scrape it and put that in the center of your petri dish. So. Still pretty warm, but you just want to sample. Then take your petri dish, careful not to get your fingers over it, and just place it right in the middle. This one's not coming off, I might get contaminations on this. And place it off the other side. And you're done with the you're done with this mushroom. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the rest of the mushrooms. I'm gonna flame sterilize in between each one.
mushroom. Take a little bit, you don't need much. And just place it in there. Put it in place. So in that case, I'm gonna re-sterilize this and then rip open the mushroom a little bit more and harvest from a different, different part. You can cool this down quicker in the agar. So rip it open and take from a place that's going to be sterile. I'm making five today. I'm gonna take samples from, take two samples from one of these mushrooms. All right, flame sterilize. Notice how I never put my fingers directly over this, or I do my best not to. Nobody's perfect. Alright, last tray. Cool it down. 
take a sample. Place the sample. And you're done. And you just want to tape up these trays and put them in colonization temperatures for until you see mycelial growth and then you're going to want to take a sector from it and to isolate your strains and if there's any contaminations on this I'll take care of it then it's not a big deal when you when you clone wild mushrooms you tend to get a lot of contaminations so you yeah, you can take care of that in the secondary or tertiary transfer What's up guys? My good dog's here, a little bit drunk. Thanks for watching my video. I like to keep my agar dishes right up here in my closet. It usually stays around 80 degrees in here because it's the fucking summer. It's really fucking hot. I'll let these sit here for like a week until I start seeing mycelium growth. I don't normally let them get all the way to the edge. I like to do my transfers a little bit earlier because there's really no reason to wait. Alright guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell. Leave a comment. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you want. Thanks guys. Take it easy.